everybody. It's me again. I just wanted to show you my little corner here. It's changed again. I've done a couple of, or altered a couple of pieces. So first off, I altered this little bookshelf here. It was a, um, like a kid's bookshelf thing, and I was using it to hold my large teddy bear. But when I have had to um, put the rascog where it's at now, I had to move it because this was on the floor. So, um, anyway, I decided to put it up here and use it to hold all my planners and my little planner pouch thing that holds my pens. So I altered it afterwards, after I knew I was going to keep it here. Just gave it a few coats of gesso, even underneath. Added some authentic paper on the sides and also on the inside here and made it shabby chic with a little bit of black and a little darker pinks to kind of match my planners. So that is there and it, there's a little space underneath so I can have this phone charger here and then my tape dispenser. And then to the left is my new shabby chic tissue box. Um, my previous one was more on the vintage side. I'm actually going to be giving that to my girlfriend and then the um, carousel that I used to have here. Let me just show you real quick. That's what I had before. If you've been following me for a while, you've seen this before. I've been using it for several years. I altered those pieces. So, And also the little... There was a three drawer piece from Recollections that I altered to match that. That I actually ended up breaking accidentally when I was taking stuff out of there. So that went in the trash, unfortunately. But um, since I've been paring down and after I got the Rascog, somehow I managed to have more space. <laughs> so now this is more clean looking and it's all shabby chic now. So... I even brought down some flowers here. So here is my tissue box, and I'm going to bring it forward. And this tissue box, originally this color, and it had a design, which I can't show you, but it had like a floral design. It actually was pretty, and it would have matched my room, but I still wanted to alter it and get rid of the floral print and just make it more soft, you know, with the fabric. You can see here, that's actually part of what I used on top. Let me get this back on here. So, I used a napkin to cover the top of my box, and it goes down to here. And I just hot glued everything down. And I used uh, my bone folder to kind of smush it and kind of even out the glue at, while it was still hot. So that fabric, I cut slits and then rolled it under and just hot glued it there and then I used some Chinese braid trim to finish off that edge there and then I went ahead and uh, <clears throat> added my trims and I didn't want to paint this so to cover the bottom part because you know once you lift that ruffle you're gonna see what's under there I just used this white crochet trim that I had in my stash left it flat and then started adding some other trims which I actually had to um, ruffle myself just with hot glue nothing special just put some hot glue down and then while it's still hot I just you know scrunched it up and made those ruffles I had to cut part of the trim because it was a little too wide so I just cut a piece off you can kind of see the design in the background and then um, I used one of my ruffle trims that I already had that I had cut off of something else that was a little too long as well, so I had to cut that down and then re-ruffle it. Same method with the hot glue. While it's still hot, you just scrunch it up. And then I had this trim here that I had picked up from the paper bag lady. Same thing. I just hot glue and scrunched it up and made it ruffle. So there's three ruffles there. And then I added another one of those crochet trims, but in a cream color. And then this heart trim here. This is, I think, Hobby Lobby. Finished it off with some more cream colored um, Chinese braid. I put a cute um, pendant here, which I cut off the backing 
with some pliers. And I think I picked this up at Walmart a long time ago. Because I had a couple and I gave one away. And I still had this one here. So I decided to put it there. And then on the side, I wanted to, I did want to add flowers, but I didn't want to go too crazy with the flowers. So first off, I took another napkin that reminded me of a handkerchief. And I thought, you know, tissue, handkerchief. I cut it in half. It's, it's so thin. It's, you know, so old. I picked it up at some thrift store. So I cut it in half and then just hung it there with some hot glue. And some of that fabric from this trim here and made a bow and then some seam binding. Um, and then I also created out of this piece of trim here a little, like a, I don't know what it's called. But I put that down first and then I put my flowers, which are all fabric flowers. Got one big white one here, like a wedding type of flower. And then three of these on each side this is like a ribbon flower and then i took some hobby lobby pearls and i hung one long one it goes all the way to the other side and then two shorter ones that are just in the front um so that's pretty much it and it just i don't really get to the stuff that's back there it just sits right here at an angle so i can see the whole you know the whole thing and there we go. So, oh, okay. So now this is how my corner looks. Currently, I brought back my sewing machine. I love this. I love that I was able to bring down my flowers, and I have a lot more workspace. I was able to, like, put my little totes of fabrics and stuff here while I actually worked over here and I don't have to work in a little circle. Um, I just like the space that I have now so I can really enjoy everything better. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye now.